Do not accept if seal is broken. This is the sequel to a camera that all the best YouTubers were absolutely raving about, and primarily due to its dual lens. My Arts Nemesis Reed from Smart Home Solver still has the 8 megapixel version of this camera attached to his house an entire year later after his review because of his dual lenses. And then to demonstrate the camera's abilities, he did this really cool thing where he just panned out to show just how much more information it captures than the average security camera. And then there was a dramatic pause, and he panned out even further. See? I can do that. Where's my 600,000 subscribers? Read. Bastard. <laughs> Thanks to Rio Link for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Rio Link Duo 3. Right now, I am one of the only people in the world to have my hands on one of these near 8K resolution cameras because they don't release until Wednesday. But. This 16 megapixel beast gives a full 180 degree field of view thanks to it actually being two super high resolution cameras in one. Whereas Reed was blown away by the 8 megapixel quality of the Duo 2, this camera has 16 megapixels and it is the best quality camera I have seen so far. Before Rio Link started making these things, the only way to actually get this amount of vision was to have a camera on a turret, which is great, but that movement at a low frame rate actually causes blurring. Rio Link have solved this simply by having two cameras pointed in different directions. I've just been watching this lad dancing on TikTok in an airport. Why not? Um, and I realized he's got earphones in, which means that he is the only person in the airport that can hear the music. That has nothing to do with this camera, and I'm just annoyed that he exists. Anyway, I have written the ultimate checklist for the perfect security camera, so that we can finally say if a manufacturer has reached that gold standard. Let's go through that list now. A good camera on a budget should have a security light, and so the ultimate camera should absolutely have the most blinding security light on the market. Uh, this thing does. Definitely does. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh god, that's bright. It can of course still do the old-fashioned black and white mode, but the colour night vision on this thing, because those lights are so ridiculously bright, is more than passable for actually capturing security footage. Perhaps more importantly, this camera won't disassemble Stephanie. <laughs> Remember when we all fancied her? Watch it. Watch it now, she's... she's mental. My checklist states that there should at least be SD card storage and cloud options available for any security camera. This one has both of those things and NVR as well, if you buy a Reolink NVR, and you can even film to something like a Synology NAS instead, because it uses the H.265 compression protocol. Hello. Uh, this is Paul from the future. I've just been in contact with Reolink. They've watched the video and gone, what do you mean cloud storage? We don't do cloud storage for the Duo 3. Um, so anytime I mention that throughout this video, just ignore it. Um, the Duo 2 has free cloud storage and the picture quality on that is actually really, really good. As I showed you at the beginning of this video when Reed used it. Anyway, I shall let him get back to it. Yeah, Duo 2 has cloud storage, slightly less video quality. Duo 3 has all the advantages of PoE and doesn't have cloud storage, has NVR or SD card. Back to him. Whereas a lot of security cameras have the SD card slot in the butt, this one has it in a different place, so no sexual innuendo this week. Oh yeah, put it in my mouth! Oh yeah! Hello! 
Yes, YouTube again. Yes, please. Yeah. He's at it again. It's absolutely disgusting. My child is watching this. Wow. And the nice thing with the Reolink NVR is that it does actually record, if you want it to, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You just stick a big old hard drive in there. All security cameras should have two-way talk, and this one is the best I have seen. No, just saying that. This has the best speaker and microphone I have heard so far. Check this out. Oh, hello there. I was just wondering if I might be able to speak to you about our Lord and Saviour, Mr. Jeffrey P. Bezos. Oh my god, new slag. Oh, okay then. In case you're thinking, Paul, that just sounds exactly the same as every security camera I've ever heard. No, it doesn't. That is 6.25 meters away from its target. If you can actually hear that guy at all on a security camera, that's a miracle. The fact that you can hear him that clearly is really, really impressive. Notifications should be fast too, and preferably this thing should have an automatic siren or some kind of warning to a burglar that they have been spotted and something is going to happen. And again, this is the fastest notification system I have seen so far. So we're going to test a couple of things here. First of all, we're going to test how quickly the siren abuses me. Uh, we're also going to see how quickly I get a notification on the phone. We're also going to test how well electricity works in the pouring British rain because I've left my power supply outside. Bad idea. Why do we live in this awful country? All right, here goes. There's the camera. Brilliant. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> that was scare the burglars off. And now, as usual, for the elephants in the the elephants in the room. So the first thing is, this is not the best app I have ever used. It is fine, but it's a little bit clunky to try and navigate through footage. I can kind of like scroll through a timeline, but I can't pinch to zoom into the timeline, which makes it difficult to find the clip that you're after in the first place, and the clips take a while to load. I don't really know why this is, because if I download the clip, it downloads to my phone really quickly. So why does it take so long to actually press play? Amazon Alexa and Google Home load just fine, but it takes way longer than it should. Um, I don't know why this is, because it doesn't take a long time to load the footage on a phone, so I don't really get why the same server isn't loading it just as quickly on my Echo Show. Uh, other camera systems, it seems to be on a par between the two things. If it loads quick on the phone, it usually loads quick on Google and Amazon these days. There's also no official HomeKit or Home Assistant support for this thing. However, because it's an end VR based thing and it's using H.265, there are ways and means using alternative pieces of software to get this working in those pieces of kit. It's just a little bit awkward. Another thing with the app, and I've spoken about this before with other suppliers, um, there's no way to snooze notifications and there's no way to snooze the siren. It's kind of on or it's off. And if you turn it off and forget to turn it back on again, then you're not going to get notified through the night if somebody comes and burgles your house after you were gardening that afternoon. So uh, either don't forget to turn it back on or suffer the consequences. I think really they need a little snooze button. Although the app is a little bit clunky, this is easily the best quality camera I have been sent so far. And because it's NVR based, the software doesn't matter quite as much. Um, if you're heavily into security, this could be the camera for you because it is IP67 waterproof, it has customized motion detection zones, it does time lapses, it can be ceiling mounted as well as wall mounted, it's got super bright LED lights on it that will scare the absolute crap out of your burglars. It's got a custom siren built into it. <laughs> and because this is power over ethernet, you don't need to get a power supply to this thing. You only need to get an ethernet cable to it. It's a shame there's no Wi-Fi equivalent, but that's what you get when you get a 16 megapixel camera. This thing is a beast. If you're interested in buying one of these things, then as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, this video was brought to you by these incredible people. They're my patrons from Patreon, and without them, honestly, I would still be working in a call center. Every week, 
am thanking one of them personally. This week I got greedy. I'm gonna thank uh, Paul Target and Lisa because they joined this month. And seriously, as I said, without them, I wouldn't be doing this for a living. If you want to be one of these incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one of their PayPal. And by the way, I genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my X's and my threads and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. See you next time. Sorry, the corner of my face. See you next time. <laughs> and this one has the best I have seen so far. We're just saying that. The, the speaker and the mic. The speaker. The speaker, speaker and the mic. <laughs> uh, Real Link, I think, just needs to upgrade a server somewhere because that's, it's a bit of a shame how, how, shlong, how shlong it takes. Shlong. <laughs> oh, there's going to be some complaints in the comments section today about there being too many cutaways. <laughs> yeah.